she'd struggle to find anyone more independent in mind or spirit than Bronwyn Hewitt from Pont New Ennith. I don't need a bit more practice on that, and that's for sure. <laughs> Her career was spent in the health service. Now she proudly calls the bingo numbers in the local community centre. But recently, Bronwyn had surgery for a heart problem, resulting in difficulties getting around the house. But that's where care and repair caseworkers like Donna come in. Her job is to help older people to postpone or even avoid completely the need for residential care or hospital treatment. Hello, hello. it's nice to see you. They put in the handrails, but of course I thought that I had placed everything in position for myself or for when I was older, you know, without any problems. But of course, Donna, with her expertise, she could see where I needed it or I would need it eventually. It is such a relief. It is so helpful not to worry. Old people don't need worry, do they? They need to be able to go and, and do things independently. In nearby Kum Khan, someone else is having handrails put in by care and repair staff. The older person living here also has health conditions that make it unsafe not to have physical supports around the home. More than 10,000 patients have been referred to this service alone since 2019. It means that waiting lists can be reduced slightly when that hospital bed is freed up, you know, that person can go home, they can be supported at home, they know they can trust the care and repair service is going to be there for support when they need it. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big thing really. A new report published by the charity says their Hospital to a Healthier Home project has drastically reduced hospital readmission rates, saving the NHS time, money and beds in the process. We're really struggling to discharge patients into the community at the moment because of the staff presses within social care. And I think the preventative approach is essential. Care and repair play a, a huge part in that, as do literally hundreds of other voluntary sector bodies who enable people to stay fit, supporting them with their shopping, supporting them with their day-to-day -day care. And I think it's, it's something that people across Wales can get involved with locally. The adaptations to Bronwyn's home may have been simple, but they've given her new vigour. I was hanging on to the wall, you see, prior to this. And so, yes, I think that everyone should have the facilities that I've had, because it's been most helpful. You know, it really has. Mm, definitely. And the longer Bronwyn is happy and safe at home, the better chance for the NHS to catch up with ever-growing waiting lists. I haven't got any worries then of falling. That's lovely. Hamish Ausgerry, ITV News, in Pont New Ennis.